So I had a couple people ask me questions about how I got my patterns into Silhouette Studio for mock-ups and printing cuts and stuff like that. So I thought I would do a video on it. All the guides that I was able to find online say to just click and drag whatever designs into your library, especially for bulk importing, and I couldn't figure out how to do that. Um, I think it may be something that Silhouette changed with version 3. For myself, I'm running Silhouette Studio Business Edition. It's the release 3.8.88, so depending on your release and build, it might be different, but... This is what I'm running and this is what works for me. So if I'm in my drawing area, what I do first is I go to this library. Show library is the button right here that you're going to click. What directory I'm in now is user designs, which is where your files will import to. So if I go to file, library, import to library, it's going to bring up your directory that you were last in on your computer. So this is your file structure for your computer. Um, I'm currently in a folder within an October or a September bundle from the Hungry JPEG. So this has a bunch of patterns in it, as you can see. All I really have to do is find whatever pattern I want to import. And I'm going to pick this, this one, this blue one, and then click OK. And that's going to import into my user designs. So then from there, I can just click and drag and select multiple user designs and click and drag those into the patterns area. You'll see in my patterns area I have this gold for like a foil kind of mock-up to see what things would look like with that. Um, and I have some Sparkleberry ink patterns too that I've grabbed off their site. So what I do is I will mock something up in Silhouette Studio and then use the pattern fill with the type of HTV or adhesive vinyl that I plan on using just so I can see what the item or what the cut is going to look like once I've finished cutting it. It helps me visualize things a lot easier, so hopefully that is the same for you guys. Um, so if you want to see how this is practical, I'm going to go back to my drawing area. I have this tag that I have grouped. Right now, if you have an object that is grouped and you try to fill it with a pattern, I'll show you what it's going to do. It is going to do this crazy thing where it fills every single shape within that group with that pattern, so that's not what I want. I'm going to do this undo or control Z and then I'm going to select this grouped item, right click it, and then go to ungroup. So once I've done that, now I can isolate each different shape the way that I want to fill them. So I'm going to select this outer one, which is my border for my tag, and click that pattern that we imported. And voila, that is how I use patterns within Silhouette Studio from other sources other than Silhouette. Um, I hope you find this video useful. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below, and I'll be sure to get to them as best I can. But until next time, thanks for watching!